Hey everybody, this is Kosho again. I wanted to clear up some things last night that I uh, missed on the tail in that first video. I realized there's 30 seconds of not seeing anything and I thought it would be self-explanatory, but here we go again, because I had some questions. Um, the tail rotor, this is the correct way for when your helicopter initializes that you will see the tail rotor. Um, you need a little bit of right pitch. So I'm gonna turn this on here. As it comes on, you'll see it set. And that blade on the bottom here is more towards the boom. That's what you call a, its right pitch. The helicopter always wants to turn left. It wants to yaw left, basically. And you need that compensation in order to hold the tail. You do not want the tail to be centered like this. And you do not want it to have a left turn like that. That is incorrect. This is incorrect. This is correct. So basically when you punch up and down, if that tail starts to kick out, you're going to want to add a little more right pitch. It, it, it tends to hold it straight because every time you give it, give it gas, you're going to, it's going to want to torque. So we're trying to even it out to where that the nose can, can hold and keep the tail straight. So this is how you do that. Um, you can adjust the link on the bottom here. I'm just going to get this fixed here. This link, you can pop it off with a butter knife and uh, you just tighten that guy up to add a little more right pitch, loosen it to add a little more left pitch. You can also slide the servo back and forth on the tail boom. That's a bigger adjustment though, so you're only going to need to tighten this guy up maybe one or two turns, if at all. And use the longer servo horn and your tail is going to be locked in like my 700. Anyway, I hope that clears it all up. <clears throat> this is Kosho and I'm out. Thanks for watching.